Mark Visconti reporting live. Well, it's always live, isn't it? If you're recording, you're live, right? Actually, I'm down at the uh, beautiful 9-11 monument. 9-11 memorial. Place of heroes. Off to an interesting uh, meeting later on. Tell you more about that. It's October 5th, 2017, October 5th, 2017, day after what we believe is a, uh, I don't know, some kind of terrorist attack out in Las Vegas, and Kook shoots up the place, 9-11 monument crawling with, crawling with uh, police protection counterterrorism units everywhere. See them over there. On the job. Good for them. So uh, today I want to talk about something um, I think the, the important thing is uh, to get outside of your head when uh, exposing corruption. And Oh, let's go look at the fountain before I get into that. Because it's really about you know, this is um, this is what's called crowdsourcing. That I'm getting my information from you, right? See the fountain. Some pretty cutaways, eh? So anyway, crowdsourcing. Um, I want to talk, uh, I want to do a shout out to Judy Cop. Judy Cop commenting down in the, um, in the comments below the videos. Thank you, Judy Cop. Is it Coop or is it Cop? I'm calling you Judy Cop. Judy the Cop. Judy the Cop writes in. It's, it's interesting. I mean, I just want to talk about some of the things she said. She says, um, the first thing she says, uh, never give up on the truth. You know, and that, that struck me as, um, as a powerful, you know, powerful statement. Thank you, Judy. Because, you know, the truth, the truth is, is uh, you know, it's easy. The truth is the truth, right? You tell the truth and you don't have to remember any lies. You don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to, worry about other people telling, you know, counter stories and 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 remembering all the things you said and and if that person slips up with the with the lie then you're lying and all this crap, right? You know, cuz there's no other way that I could be how how is it possible that one person can engage, you know, the entire <laughs> the entire, you know, Department of Sanitation and Corporate Council, two thousand lawyers, and and um, the New York State Division of Human Rights, who has basically turned their back on you know discrimination. It's all just following along, following the lead, and uh, the truth is powerful. Truth is, uh, it enables you to engage in in ways you never thought possible. You know that all you have to do is just stick to the truth. You know, stick to the truth. And then the rest of it is easy. She says, uh, we're, we're, we are 100% behind you. You're a brave American. Uh, you know, I'm down at the 9-11 monument and um, on the note of bravery, I was, I was here, you know. I was here when, this, uh, when the first uh, tower fell. I lived in Soho about, a, I don't know, maybe half a mile away mile away. Soho is, is just above Chinatown. And um, I lived there and I remember coming out that morning and, you know, buildings. I, I didn't see the planes hit, but I saw the two buildings smoking. And then I made my way down to the, down here, down to the site where the buildings were. And, um, you know, and I saw that first building come down. You know, I was here. I was, I was standing across the street down that way that's the uh, 
that's the little church you saw in all the in all the uh, where people were putting up the flyers to find their loved ones and all that stuff. So I was standing right over there when the building fell, a little further out, and that bowl bowl of dust. And that's bravery, you know. I I, I saw, you know. I have video of all the, you know, the firemen and the police rushing into the building and one after another. And they're, you know, they all perished. They all went down in flames, you know. And I think that that's, that's, that's part of the reason, that's part of the reason why this sort of thing is important. Because, you know, you know, what, what is it to be a proud American? What is it to be... A brave American. What does that mean? You know, what does that mean? You know, it's not necessarily running into a, a burning building, though that is extremely brave. And it's, you know, I don't know how many people would actually do that. So, you know, we, we, we salute the we salute the heroes that that did that. But even more brave is to walk in, or as brave. Let's say as brave. It's to walk into a, you know, a city agency and see rampant corruption, overt racism, uh, discrimination based on age, kind of kind of a segregated situation and you know uh, a kind of uh, a, a, a uh, an illegal procedure that is at the heart of the whole operation in Department of Sanitation and enforcement it was the illegal 10 ticket quota. And then you see something like that and you know, you say, hey, 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 by the way, this is totally illegal, you know, and you speak up and you get thrown under the bus, you know, so I didn't see any other way. For me, where I come from, you know, my, 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 my integrity, my morality, there was no other choice, you know, there was, there was no other choice. It says maybe uh, Judy Coop, Judy Cop again says maybe we all need to start wearing body cams. Now that that's a that's such a think about that. That is such a sad reality, you know, that where where we could we could inform the authorities of corruption and and nothing gets done about it. And we could even present them with hard facts and hard evidence. We could suggest, you know, witnesses, people that saw it. And nothing gets done about it or it gets, you know, the, the authorities just simply side with the other authorities, the agencies. And and the only, the only thing we have is, for example, what I had, which is, which is audio. I have some video. Maybe we'll get to that. Um, but we all have to, why? We all have to. We all have to be proving ourselves every single day. Is that what has to happen? We have to walk around proving every single thing that has happened to to to, to combat this this overt corruption, where people are terrified to come forward and say anything. They need to be, you know, they need to, to use aliases and even the you know the new media. You know, there's shout out to True Pundit. Thomas Paine, big fan of Thomas Paine. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of new media popping up, and these guys are all ex, you know, ex law enforcement, and they're they're they know the, the game. They know that to speak the truth, to, to to speak truth to power, is to put yourself in danger, and that's a scary place to be. We all need to wear body cameras to prove to prove something, or to to to, to just. To just prove the truth? It's crazy. It's a crazy time we're living in. One more with Judy Cop. She says, uh, Marcus, you should be running DSNY. <laughs> great great doable ideas. Thank you, Judy, but I have no I think I think my comment to you in the comment section was I'd rather just you know stay home and feed my cats. But um again, it was it, again, it was to me. It was very, very. Uh, it, it was something very obvious. You know, it was doable. I mean, here, here, here. Here's a guy who grew up in in the city, and he walks into this new job, and 
you know, and it's it's pretty obvious what's going on. That there's, you know, you, you, you think that you're coming in to educate the public. That's what you're told that the job is. It's a green job. You're a sanitation enforcement agent. You're going to enforce the, the, the you know, the, the city laws, you know, and, and, and you, you're going to keep the city clean and, and all this nonsense. You're going to help educate the public. And meanwhile, you, you discover it's a ticket mill. It's, it's a quota. That there's no, there's no discussion of, of engaging the public in a positive way. It's just, it's just go out and find tickets, you know. And then, as I said, it's still not, it's still not confirmed. But a lot of the tickets appear to have been fakes. So, and then the the segregation. What's that all about? Why is it all, why is it all one kind of people? Why is it all one color? <laughs> you know, when I said it, you know, they tried to make a big point of that. I had whispered to the, the guy next to me in the class, you know, this, 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 this um, instructor was attacking me and just mocking me, mocking my questions and stuff. So, and she said, why do you have to be different? Why do you have to be different? Right? You know, so I mumbled, you know, why? You mean like different color, right? And the, the, the kid next, the guy next to me is a, was a... A student of color, so he laughed. It was it was funny, but it was but but it, it's it's startlingly it's startling startlingly startlingly true that when you walk in, you say, "Well, why is it that? What is it about?" And and this is for the for the for the uh, you know people of color and and the community at the SNY. You got to ask yourself. Is there power in that, or is that a weakness, where where everyone is 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 um, is the same? Okay, you know the jury's still out on that one. The, I think we've we've already you know confirmed the quota part of it, but there is there is in my view, and and a lot of people that are looking on, you know, there's there's a tremendous degree of not only racism but ageism. I'm over 50, so it's it makes sense to not want to have you know have any part of some guy, you know, college degrees and has you know been around been around town for a while and you know you got to get rid of this guy, right? Get you know get all this get all these young blood, you know, people without any background or any you know any you know to to them I was <laughs> I, I I declared myself a Buddhist. I'm vegan, right? And to you know, to these folks, that was just a an incredibly novel idea, you know. So you know, so uh, my again, my my ideas are not that unusual to, to walk into a place and see this sort of corruption and sort of um, this sort of uh, corruption, you know, uh, and to suggest that maybe we could fix it. And maybe we could, you know, somehow get around to doing the right things for the community and educating the community with brooms rather than rather than running them over with tickets and that sort of thing. So thank you very much, Judy Cop, and I'll be back soon. A little bit of a surprise.